Every day, millions of plastic bottles are improperly disposed of. In this report, we'll explore the way in which waste materials, particularly plastic bottles, are used to make spectacular pieces. 24-year-old sculptor Travis Hunter tells us his story. So where are you from? Well, I'm, I'm from St. Mary. St. Mary? Yes. Where in St. Mary? I get St. Mary. So what did you want to be before you got into this? When you were going to high school, what did you want to be? During my high school period, I wanted to become a bone specialist or an artist, so, but I was weighing my option between the, um, between the medical fields and art. So because of my growing love for biology, I was given a Cuban scholarship farm by my biology teacher, Ms. Russell. Uh, for, very, for various reasons, I, I didn't um, bother to pursue a career in the medical fields. I, I chose art instead. So tell me, why didn't you get a 9 to 5 job? How did you get into this art area? I'm an art, art student. I'm a St. Mary Technical High School um, where I, I get a one, range one in um, CXD art. So I started off in, in 2012. My, my art teacher, Carl Brown, introduced me to the art company in Kingston. So basically, so when I went to Kingston, I just started off um, since that. What do your parents think about your chosen career? Uh, my parents um, love what I do. Uh, basically, uh, they, they do the recycling um, aspect of it. But um, they didn't thought that I, I would directly um, go into this art. You know, they would think I, I would choose something else. But um, over, over time, um, things have been changed, you know? So you are the owner of your business right now. Yeah. What's the aim of your business? Well, uh, I'm the owner of, of Travis Creation, you know? Well, the aim of um, Travis Creation is to um, take waste and, and turn it into value, okay? So, and, and as well um, as clean the environment. Is it just for money or is it just like an interest you have to, to help the environment and use different things that we, we call waste to, to make them usable in other aspects? Um, well, recycling is not, about, not all about money. So it's basically um, to keep the environment clean because um, where I go like on the streets and the gullies and the gutters, I see people um, dumping um, garbage. So, so it's basically to help the environment, you know, to preserve the environment. So as I'm working towards eliminating waste and protecting the environment um, by learning and practicing um, the three R's, waste management, um, reuse, reduce and recycle. Um, the way in which we um, dispose of the waste can um, damage the environment. So um, the waste that we produce each day has to be managed in a way so that it, so that it doesn't um, harm the environment in any way. What do your parents think about it? Think the, the area that you, you've decided to go with your life? Oh, you know, uh, my parents um, love what I do, uh, basically, you know, the, the whole recycling um, aspect of it. But um, they didn't thought that I, I would directly um, go into this art, you know, they would think I, I would choose something else. But um, over, over time, um, things have been changed, you know. You know um, basically, I love sculpting because, you know, I love animals. I, I, like, I love to see. Um, um, the farm of the animals and, and the structures and the yeah, um, yeah, different poles. I love, I love when the, um, the animals um, pose in a dynamic way. So basically, that's my, that's my main aim now, to, um, to scout animals um, from all different um, species, you know. <music> So it was a little bit rusty, so we just add um, mesh, wrap it with mesh, and then um, plaster it with um, newspaper and cement. And then these was cut out, out of uh, foam, foam block. Then after you cut it out of foam blocks, you just um, add the paper over it, you know, to, to, to protect the foam. Get a little um, sanding down, and then you go ahead and do your, your, paint, your paint job. <music> This is a 10 inch floor spot, this is a 10 inch as well and this is, these are made from uh, newspaper, cement and concrete. So these, these are a concrete product as well, this can stay both um, indoors and outdoors. While this one is made from um, plastic bottles, newspaper, cement and concrete. Um, this, this seat right here is made from um, glass bottles. So as you can see right there, um, glass from different size, shape 
and um, um, the purpose of it is to allow light to come through as you can see so this can use to make a wall as well so um, this can use to make a wall on the house so light can pass through from from outside so allow your space to be lighter all right these are floor spot orders um, from somebody in in um, St. Anne's Bay. Um, these are made from um, plastic bottles, newspaper, and concrete. Right. And about how long will it take to make all? Alright, yeah, it will take about two weeks to be completed because um, I've done this about four days ago, but as you can see, some moisture inside, so I want to allow it to dry first. If you were going to make, say, a floor spot, what would be the process? Walk us through the process. Okay, I can make it from mold. Um, depends on the shape of it and the size. So then with the mesh now, I get the mesh into a, a specific size or, or, or the shapes. Um, and then I um, plaster it with the material and allow it to dry first. And then I come again and add it and the final um, the texture and, and to it and then I do the painting. How long would it take to make an, an, an average floor spot? An average floor spot um, from most days going right up um, to the joint um, process. I uh, put it about um, 9 to um, 11 days. It depends on the weather condition. Alright, and I see on your page you have done a waterfall. It's a pretty big waterfall. How long would that process take? Alright, that waterfall at that size will take about um, 68 weeks. And what, what, what do you put in it? What makes it? Um, the waterfall is made from um, same recycled materials, um, newspapers, plastic bottles, and styrofoam. of monetary value do you make money from it do you have a lot of interest in interested people coming in to ask you to do stuff like that yeah I have a lot of people um, coming in and asking me um, for various items um, sort of people from all over um, the world call me I even get a call from Africa and Naza people mm. most people yeah most from uh, from the America I mean I like it via um, a billionaire while well, I was painting the camera and um, the stars came on last year, September, to view the tape that I was doing. And I was um, um, featured on um, YouTube, um, like a, on the rap rap program. In the future, I see myself um, going to construction here as well, to do something different, do um, different design of building and stuff. But I'm just working, I'm just, you know, take it step by step. This house that you see right here is still under construction. And it's made from plastic bottles. How it is made? It is made by tying um, plastic bottles together um, in blocks. Our links have chains together. And um, you put, put them over, st over the steel on top of each other. So keep on stacking them and stacking them until you reach um, the required height. As you can see right over there, we have, we have the proof window. We left out the um, spot so you can see. Because I'm um, seeing this. You will, you will never know that it, um, it, has, it has been done from plastic bottles, so we just um, left out the, you know, the proof. Garbage properly in recycled bins that have been for 
paper, it's plastic, styrofoam, and um, aluminum container. If you want to get in contact with me, my number is 802 7677. I'm on Facebook as Travis Tishby. I'm on Instagram, Travis underscore, underscore um, creation.